For many, the decision to retire also involves a decision to leave the ancestral home. For some, like my friend Gator Dave, that meant moving all the way from Ruskin to Apollo Beach. <laughs> but for others, the decision is greater and the move larger. They will leave their ancestral house, town, state, and region. They will come to Florida, joyfully leaving behind the bitter cold winds, <laughs> shoveling snow, and their drafty, creaky 60-year-old house. <laughs> Winter is completely inconvenient. When it's time to walk the dog, <laughs> he's excited, while you put on boots and three layers of clothing. But once outside, you and he can't wait to get back inside. Winter is also unhealthy, with colds that seem to drag on for months. Winter is also expensive as you watch your hard-earned money escape from leaky radiators. You have to consume gallons of hot soup. Look, 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 look. And once the decision to move is made, you begin to notice all of the people's annoying imperfections. Sure, you overlooked them before, but now you see them for what they really are. Rude. <laughs> Crude. <laughs> With an elitist attitude. <sighs> ah, but Florida, the land of flowers, where everything grows and it's warm year round. The wife is happy. It's so quiet at night that when you lie in bed you can hear your own heartbeat. And down here when it's time to walk the dog, he's excited and once outside he wants to stay out. Sniffing every lamppost, bush and hydrant reading the newspaper, as it were. Instead of soup, you drink lots of wine. Sure, there are mosquitoes. But it's so less expensive to live down here that the savings will actually pay for the occasional cruise vacation and eating out once a week. Now that's retirement. Who's Sarah Appleyard, everyone?